Hi, I'm Monty Beetham. Welcome to Vodafone One Tribe TV, the home of the Vodafone Warriors. Tonight, Captain Steve Price shares the secret to his youthfulness. I'm just getting a chocolate facial at the moment, which is going to rejuvenate my skin and make it feel really nice and soft. One Tribe reporter Marshy sees a more intimate side of the boys. <laughs> you make me jealous. <laughs> when you're packing what me and Jess are packing, you might have to wear something that would even cut the length down. Ivan Tumavavi gets his first game for the season and his 100th cap for the Vodafone Warriors. Uh, it's awesome to be back on the field and back in the team, playing for the Vodafone Warriors again. We launch our 18th man fan couples competition. Together we can see this country's dream come true. 2009 is our season, we've got faith in you. <laughs> Hey team, Steve Price here. Well, I didn't make the trip over to Penrith on the weekend, and what can you say about that game? It had everything. We started not slow, but we started down six points, came back, scored the next 32 points to go up 32-6 with 20 minutes to go, and then the Panthers got a roll on. A few things went their way, came back to 32 all, goes into Golden Point, Lanto higher, hits the crossbar from 35 metres out, and the game ends up in a draw when the Warriors look like we were going to score right at the end with big Manu Vatavai, Jolly Moon up the sideline. Special mention to Joel Moon, four tries in one game. The record for the club is five tries in a game, but Jolly one try off. Great effort mate. I thought Sam Rapira's performance was outstanding, he went forward all game, played a lot of minutes. The return of Ivan Tumavavi after not playing a game in the NRL all season, come back, played some really good minutes, come up with a couple of big shots and some really good runs. And Louis Brown back into the side, off the bench, a lot of enthusiasm, scored a very crucial try and brought a lot to the team. So we scored plenty of tries, but we got plenty of goals. Kevin Locke, six from six, well done Nobby. During the game, the reports were coming out that Stacey Jones wasn't going to take up an option for next season. And unfortunately, they were true. On Sunday, they were confirmed, so the little general won't be running around for the Warriors in season 2010. Very sad from our perspective, because he has a huge impact on all of us at the club. And I know the fans absolutely love him. Stacey Jones, what a legend. Yep. Thanks for the memories, man. It's been great, and it's been, uh, it's been good viewing. Stacey Jones, yeah, it's better to, to quit as a legend rather than a husband. Now they're going to have to step up and find a good player to replace him. Oh yeah, he's, he's an icon. He's been around forever, so you can't begrudge him. If it's his time to leave again, <laughs> then it's his time. Well, if I knew where your subway was, man, I'd be there for lunch every day. Yeah, I think definitely, Stacey, you should stay. We need you. We need people of his calibre. Come back. <laughs> Come back! Hey. Some more news for the club and the recruitment front on the weekend was the signing of Brett Seymour. The club's been working with the NRL and Brett and his manager to try and get a deal done and finally it has been done. So in 2010, Brett Seymour is going to line up in the black and silver colours of the Vodafone Warriors. Really looking forward to it. Make sure you get down to Mount Smart Stadium on Sunday at 2 o'clock to get behind the boys against the unpredictable Titans. See you there. This is your Rotary Reporter, Vodafone One Tribe. Marshy, I'm here at, down at the Bendon lingerie shoot where some of the Warriors are going to strut their stuff. There's going to be models, there's going to be models in lingerie, there's going to be all that stuff. And I'll tell you what, someone has to do it, and that someone has to be me. There's about thousands of people out there. Yeah, at the moment, it must yeah. be growing, eh? Yeah. I came in, there wasn't many, but uh, yeah, I think the nerves are starting to build for everyone. Is that? There's no extra pad in there. Yeah, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, you make me jealous. <laughs> you got it, buddy, you got it. Uh, have you scored a try this, this year? Uh, two to be exact, mate. So, what, then uh, you don't have to do the uh, undie run? No. Oh, mate, I'm about to do one tonight, so. Uh... <laughs> Louis Brown, Louis Brown, smile, Louis Brown, head up, head up, Louis Brown, head up, Louis Brown. I love, I love, I love, I love that shy boy look. Yeah. That shy boy look as you're walking down like, you know, you, 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 you don't know if you're doing something wrong. And I yeah, thought that, mate, mate, uh, 
new to this stuff, mate. Uh, mate, never know two years if it doesn't work out at Warriors. You might see me in Milan, mate, on the catwalks. Oh, stop it! I think you'll fit in well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mr. Royal, I know that you've been doing the press ups for the last hour, but. Um, I need them for how, how, how do you focus for something like this? <laughs> It's pretty hard at the moment. All the boys playing up, acting the goat. You've got uh, Lockie down there trying on bras. What do you think is your best angle? Um, no, profile. Mate, front on. Front, front on. Nice. Or backwards, tucked in. No, back, backwards and tucked in. Hmm. Get ready for a bit of magic. There goes Jan Lockie. Oh, he's oh. the man, the man. Oh, 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 dancing with the stars. Dancing with the sun. Mate, I think Kevin Locke killed it, mate, you know, the youngster, and uh, he's got a great body on him. I think he weighs all about about 65 kilos. Right, a feather. Yeah, yeah, he's lucky to get, yeah. he's lucky those electric doors didn't open the <laughs> way, mate. <laughs> Quick, please, don't. Please, get get that for the girls up there, namely Carla, Carla yeah. from, from, from work. <laughs> hey, she wanted to give more than a kiss, but I said, no, that's oh, yeah, yeah. that's where I stop. <clears throat> Can you just do a swirl for us and, and, and just show what, what the girls are going to do? What, what sort of um, preparation do you have to go to, to, to for tonight? Oh, I just um, think about all the kind of um, the walks I've done in my time, cat walks and stuff. And yeah, so I look back and just think of stuff I went wrong and try and fix that up. Ciao, ciao! And the Royal. <laughs> Mate, when you and the Royal walked down there, I thought, far around. What a shot that is. I was a lucky girl. <laughs> no! What girl gets two warriors? Straight up. <laughs> and then when you palmed off the girl to walk down with, with him back, that was sensational. Yeah, um, it was pretty Wait. good. Um, yeah, that, <laughs> that was the plan to palm her off. She was like bringing us down because um, yeah. me and Jess so. Was. You, you guys were the only two that didn't put any socks down the front. No need to, mate. Yeah. Hey? <laughs> when you're packing, what well, me and Jess are packing, you might have to wear something that would even cut the length down, so... Anacondas. How do you reckon the boys went as models? Um, I think they were really yeah, nervous. Awesome. Yeah. You were going to say that? I was going to say that they were really nervous yeah, no, and they were kind of cute. I know they're supposed to be right, macho, like, league boys, but they were kind of like, Ugh. But once they got out there, they turned it up. Yeah. Mate, how do you think that went? Your honest opinion. Your honest opinion. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. It was a bit of fun, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, the boys enjoyed it. And, bro, if there's anything you can take away, from this experience, what would that one thing be? I got told off by my uh, my girl partner. Yeah. Made sure I stand at the end and do a pose. And you didn't. I spun her and walked off, which is beyond. So. <laughs> what sort of things would you take from this experience to the um to the field this weekend? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I think the undies I'll take to the field because yep, I was nice. very comfortable. Yeah, As nice. you can see out there, I was just in my zone. Yeah, like, yeah. I felt, I felt you were well. straight up. You were yeah. straight up. I felt fast and, yeah. So, yeah, I'll take my undies out. That's what I like about the Vodafone Warriors, mate. They not only, not only support today, but also put their money where their mouth is. Jess, I see you, you, you put out your card and, and you're buying a few items. Yeah, mate, just buying something for the wife. Uh, oh, good man. Uh, it's been a while since I brought her something, so I thought I'd better uh, buy a bit of lingerie. Oh, and, and, and is, it the, is it the kind that you like? Of course. Brilliant. <laughs> what a selfish. Won't, won't be on for long, that's for sure. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>